Hello and welcome to Two Minute Tuesday. On this week's episode, what we're going to do is talk about how to display icons on a view. Looking at a list of records is often tough to understand quickly information. And so in this example, we have opportunities that are open. We have an estimated close date, the probability, and whether it's on track. Now that on track field helps us know whether we are going to meet, uh, we anticipate meeting and closing this opportunity in that time frame and warning us when we're two weeks out or even telling us when we're past the due date. And we can't quickly see if we're on track or if we're over. And so what we're gonna do is display an icon on there. So in order to do that, we're gonna to have to have a couple of things already set up. So first we're gonna to have to have icons in the system in our solution and also a field that we wanna do that on. So let's go ahead and get the timer started and we'll go ahead and get started into this. So first we're gonna go ahead and go to make.powerapps.com. We're gonna go ahead and open the solution. In this case, we already have the solution open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new web resource. So to create a new web resource, we'll go down to other and then click web resource. In here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to need to name the library. So we'll go ahead and do the two minute Tuesday library as the name. And what we're going to do is the type is going to be JavaScript. Next, we need to go ahead and enter in the JavaScript. So we'll go ahead and click the text editor and we'll go ahead and drop in the text. So just so you're aware of what the JavaScript is and what it's doing, you can see here that it's going to go look at each statement and it's going to have a variable that looks at each row and then looks at the column, specifically the on track column and pulls that value. We are declaring some image as well as a tool tip that we're going to use later on. Next, we're gonna use a switch statement to go ahead and go through and look for where the case equals the value of that field. So in the first case, it's the, are we on track? Is it on track? And if they are, we're gonna go ahead and say that they're approved and that they're on track as some description. And you can see here that we can do that in a number of different places and we can go through uh, using the JavaScript. And in this case, a switch statement. Going back to the system, We'll go ahead and click OK. We'll go ahead and save that, publish. What that's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and publish out our configuration changes. Go ahead and close that. So now that's available for us. We'll go ahead and go to the opportunity. And now what we need to do is add it to the view. We'll go to views, open opportunities. And in this case, we actually need to go to the the classic view. So we'll go ahead and switch to classic. And we're gonna go ahead and click on the on track. So from here, we can either double click on this column or we can go ahead and go to change properties. Here we can search for the web resource we just created. And we'll go ahead and add that function that calls it as well. Go ahead and click that and click save. So now that's saved and now this column, we'll go ahead and call that JavaScript. From there, we'll go ahead and go back and just click publish all to make sure that everything's that we've done has taken into account and into effect. So we'll go back here to the solution and publish all. After that's done publishing, we'll go ahead and go back to the, the view. We'll go ahead and refresh. And now we can see that the view is updated to display the icons that we told it to based on the logic. This quickly helps us visually determine what things are on track, which ones um, are past due, and then be able to dig into that. What we can do is go ahead and sort on name, and I wanna show you also how this works on a subgrid. So here we see AdventureWorks has a number of them. We'll go ahead and click on the AdventureWorks account. That's gonna bring up the AdventureWorks record. We can go ahead and click on Opportunities. And here we can see that this, because we've reused this, the view again, we can see that the icons are displayed here as well. Things to keep in mind is that you need to do this on each of the columns in each of the views that you want to display the icons on. This feature has been out for the last year and a half. And though it's been out for a while, I think it's a, one of the underused items. And so it very quickly helps with the user experience as you're going through this. 
If you want more information, click on the link in the description below.